Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In this video, we are doing a water review of Eternal bottled water. It's called Eternal Natural Alkaline Spring Water. And we're gonna see how it stacks up against our other water that we have here. We're gonna just call this hydrogen water, all right? Now, if you haven't seen these videos before, you wanna make sure you smash that subscribe button. That way you get more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to improve your overall wellness. Now, we're gonna look at this water for three specific things, okay? First one is antioxidants. Second one is alkalinity. And third, I like to call superior hydration. So let's go ahead and jump into it. By pouring these waters. Now, I don't know if you've drank this water before, but they are, I don't know if you if you drank it. If you have, then you've, you've probably read the back of it. But for those of you who haven't, let me share with you what it says. Pure and pristine water doesn't need to come from Fiji or France. Eternal is sourced from some of the best water in the world right here in America. So like, they're taking shots at those French waters and the waters that come from Fiji. I don't know which waters they're talking about there, but they're taking shots at them, like literally on the back of their bottle, which is a... Uh, pretty funny and of course we have a hydrogen rich water which is really water that's in that's not really added anything we just shock it and then we have hydrogen rich water which we're gonna talk about right here in a moment you're gonna learn a little bit more about that all right so the first thing is antioxidants now why should our water have antioxidants it's because we're dealing with all these things around us known as free radicals now they are everywhere like crawling on the ground okay they aren't they aren't crawling but they are in the air that we breathe they're in the foods that we eat they're in our electronics and so with all the things that we have around us they're coming in and they're taking our free electrons from our healthy cells okay and that when that happens it creates two things it creates oxidation and inflammation and those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man so if you're experiencing any kind of itis bronchitis tendonitis plantar fasciitis any type of itis, that's inflammation that's happening in our body, okay? And that's coming from these free radicals creating that damage. And so we want to consume antioxidants. Now these are your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. These things, they actually, when we consume them, they provide the extra electrons to actually balance out and take care of our cells that were, you know, going through those tough times. It's gonna actually bring down that oxidation, lower that inflammation, and they're essentially the fountain of youth. All right, so the more of that we can consume, the better. Now, how do we tell if a water is oxidized or an antioxidant? We're gonna use this tool here, it's called an ORP meter. ORP stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential, or we're gonna test for the potential to reduce oxidation. Now, if we see a positive number here, that means it's oxidizing us, creating more sickness and dis-ease in the body. However, you see a negative number, that means it is an antioxidant anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, and it's gonna be great. So let's see what we get here with our eternal water. What are we getting? What are we showing? Oh, great. Yep. Showing a 260 and it's going up just because of the air, right? It's coming in contact with the air and all that stuff, so it's going up even higher. So this is oxidizing, okay? 285 all right so let's take a look at our hydrogen rich water that we have right over here what are we seeing is that a positive or a negative number oh my goodness yep we're getting a negative 780 okay so you can't eat enough fruits and vegetables in a single day to equate to one glass of this water over here so it is a negative 800 and it's still getting lower all right so this is full of antioxidants and once again, this is gonna help bring down that inflammation and oxidation so you can start feeling better again, all right? So the first test that we did on oxidation, this is oxidizing, okay? And so one of the reasons why this is an anti very antioxidant is because of the hydrogen that's in there, like hydrogen molecules, not H2O, but we actually shock the water and break off little bits of the hydrogen, and that's what's in here, and it is the strongest antioxidant known to man. That's why this is through the roof on that chart. Let's take a look at the second thing, which is alkalinity. 
All right, uh, for that second test on alkalinity, and alkalinity is really a byproduct of what's in the water, okay? It's not the primary thing to really worry about. The antioxidants that we looked at in the past was really the primary thing to look at. So this is something that is important though because we know that cancer and disease cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So this does have its importance, but it shouldn't be our primary focus, okay? Now, our blood is gonna stay a 7.365 on the pH scale. And the reason why I say that the pH isn't as important is because our blood is gonna naturally do this. It's gonna do it automatically. Our body's gonna do the work. The question is, what are we consuming? Alkaline or acidic? See, if we're consuming things that are acidic, then it's actually gonna eat the minerals and electrolytes that we're consuming and that's in our body. If we keep doing that, then guess what? Our skin starts to peel, crack and bleed, starts to get rashes. If we continue that, our bones and our joints and our ligaments are gonna to start to get crunchy as well, you know, and that's how osteoporosis happens. If we continue, this is gonna start eating the minerals and things from our brain. And this is how we get Alzheimer's. This is how our brain gets foggy. All right, so we want to consume things that are alkaline because it's gonna allow our blood to maintain that balance much easier. It's gonna actually give us the nutrients we need so we can keep that balance going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these pH drops to see what color we get. All right, now if we get a red or orange or yellow, that means it's oxid, that's not only oxidized, it's acidic. <laughs> and that it is eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. However, if we get a blue or purple or dark purple, that means it's alkaline, all right? So put a few drops in each one to see what we get. All right, so as we can see here, we have we have blue, <laughs> a little bit of blue, and some purple here. I'm going to stir these. And any time when I see something that looks alkaline, I want to ensure that's genuinely like really alkaline, and it can actually battle some acidity. So I'm gonna give it some acidity with my stink breath. All right, we're gonna see how this does and see if it truly is an alkaline water. Huh, there's uh, something fake about this <laughs> because look, when you ingest the water, it's going to automatically battle back any acidity and it should stay the same. But this one is changing, which means there's something up with it. There's something that was added to this that we just burned off with a little acidity and now it's looking like the true water that it is. So just to be fair, let's go ahead and check this one here and see what we get. can't get it to change because this is this is naturally alkaline like there's nothing I could do to change like it's battling back the acidity that I'm putting in it which is pretty cool right so don't let this fool you that says alkaline spring water okay it's there's something in here okay just want to show you that and so when it comes to pH this actually isn't doing as good as it says it was while our water here stays that nice royal purple color. Let's go ahead and look at that final thing, which is superior hydration. All right, on to that third and final test on what I like to call superior hydration. Now, have you ever drank like a large, like a large quantity of water, like just chug this thing, and it just comes in and just sits in your stomach? And you're like, man, why am I still thirsty? Why well, can't, I can't drink anymore because I'm already full of water, right? and it doesn't go anywhere, it just sits there. Should our water really be doing that? I don't know, I don't think it should. I think it should actually get absorbed into your body and actually start hydrating you so you don't feel thirsty anymore. All right, so that's what I mean by superior hydration. So we're gonna use tea to try to figure this out, right? And what we're gonna do is we're going to try to make some tea using our cold water. All right, now you're probably thinking, well, Prentice, there's no way that's gonna work because we have to boil the tea. 
Well, why are we boiling the tea? We're boiling it so the water molecules get so small that they're actually able to pass through the tea bag and make tea. But why are we doing that? Why, why are we doing that for our cells? Like our cells are so much smaller, so the water should be able to pass through. And let's see what we get here. All right. This is exactly what I'm talking about, man. It just sits, just sits there. It doesn't start making tea or anything. And you're probably thinking like, Laprentis, you're crazy. There's no way cold water is gonna make tea. Well, let's try this water over here and see what we get. So the water is too big to actually get through the tea bag here. You get like a little bit through it. You get like, it's kind of like grapes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll, like when you buy a bag of grapes, sometimes you get those ones, those individual ones that are at the bottom of the bag. And then you got the rest of them that are on the vine. The whole vine is not going to fit. <laughs> the whole vine is not going to fit into like a soda bottle. But you take one at a time and put them in. This water is so small, it's like a bunch of little individual grapes. Right? And the water is cold, so it's not like I'm doing anything special but let's try it one more time because the bag was wet and i want to make sure that this wasn't a fluke yeah so i mean it's getting there but like maybe five like maybe five or ten percent and because of that guess what you have to buy more bottled water to try to make up for that. And this stuff is expensive, so I wouldn't want to be paying this kind of money for this. You know what I'm saying? So let's just take a little bit. Let's just say you're really dehydrated, you know? And you just needed some, some water in you. You have a little bit of life left, and you just, want, you just want to get some water in you. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so this water is clearly not going to do it for us, right? You want something that's going to hydrate you at a cellular level, that's going to get all the way into you. And when you're drinking the right water, it's not going to hit your stomach because it's going to go through your lungs and everything else that has more water in it, all right? So look at that, that is amazing. So to wrap things up, we tested eternal water for three things. We tested it first for antioxidants and we saw that it's actually oxidizing us, okay? this is creating more dis-ease in the body. All that oxidation and all that inflammation, that itis, the water you're drinking, all right? Second thing we tested for was alkalinity, and while it appeared to be alkaline, when we gave it a test to see if it handled acidity, couldn't do it, just couldn't handle it, couldn't, can't, couldn't handle it, couldn't handle the truth. Last thing we checked for was superior hydration, and we saw that it did not make tea. Like it barely made, like it made like a tea light. So, Ultimately, I don't, I don't think, think you should be buying this stuff, you know? Our body is 75% water. So would you rather be filling up with this, oxidizing ourselves, making ourselves more acidic, and not even really getting hydrated so you have to buy more? Or would you rather drink something that's a little bit more, that's much better for our health, as that antioxidants that we need to push out the oxidation and all that stuff? So. That's the review of Eternal Water. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you are serious about your health and you really want to push out those toxins, you want to remove fat, you want to have more energy, you want to sleep better, shoot me a message in the comments and I would love to connect with you and share with you this amazing water. All right? If you think about it, you change your water, you change your world. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.